Hello and welcome back to another Jagged Alliance 3 build guide. This is the third out of four guides that I want to showcase around builds. My name is Saiken and today we're going to look into a sniper build. And said sniper build is going to be the ambush sniper, or as I call it, deadly and silent, the fart. Um, it is going to focus all around taking out enemies from afar and not getting caught in the process of doing so. So sniper builds, let's take a look. Um, I will showcase the build at the example of Livewire. This is an end game Livewire, which uh, has been uh, focusing a lot around uh, sniping. So as an equipment for it, um, I would suggest medium armor, specifically medium Carmo, if you can get it. These two have not been weaved, so there is slight improvement potential for 50% damage reduction and 40 on the center. But really the build will not take a lot of damage to begin with. It's just a measure of precaution. Let's shortly look at the weapons. Effectively any sniper rifle would do. Uh, I will use the example of uh, the M24 in uh, this case, NATO rounded uh, weapon. Uh, so what we definitely want with that build, uh, the most important uh, uh, item will be the thermal scope, costs you a chip, but this item in itself is just absolutely fantastic. No cover penalties, illuminates the enemy automatically, so no night uh, vision uh, necessary, no grazing hits additionally, so no hunker down and no line of sight accuracy penalties so they can be kind of around even around the corner and you still will snipe them off ultra important secondly you want to have a suppressor no matter how noisy the weapon is supposed to be once you put a suppressor on it it works for silent kills secondly uh, thirdly you want a uv dot just to get uh, one aim level automatically added to it that also helps for the additional crit chances and so on and the rest is really just additional bonus a moderate accuracy bonus for aimed attacks is great uh, the bipod is fine as well when you're prone and more um, more magazine uh, content is good also but all of that is uh, optional so Really pick your sniper, modify it, as long as you do have a thermal scope and a silencer on it. That build really performs very, very well. So let's look at the build in itself. If you look at Lifewire here, she has killed almost 250 enemies over her career, most of them in stealth mode. You can definitely see uh, she very much uh, was loving her Dragunov and she has hit uh, most of the time as a headshot uh, with a pretty uh, decent accuracy for, uh, for a headshot. Uh, the accuracy would potentially be higher if I would have used her more in the end game. Let's take a look at uh, the actual build itself. So what do you want to do when you are building for an ambush sniper? Uh, the ambush sniper really works mostly around dexterity as the core stat so you want to have a character that is decent um, or very good at dexterity to begin with uh, core item number one in the first level should be an uh, untraceable the slower detection will help you but there is definitely a higher chance than to also stealth kill and stealth kills deal 20 um, failed stealth kills deal 20 percent more damage which for sniper rifles is very important as then the headshot in itself oftentimes kills so that in itself is um, the ability number one that you want to pick at that point in the game you are not going to notice much of a difference other than not being detected that often secondly you want to go for ambusher greater um, slightly again uh, slightly increased chance for sales kills while sneaking and enemies if you cannot uh, kill them they are suppressed which means you still have a second shot with anyone else which can actually be a lifesaver to not uh, let them um, cry out alarm alarm so once you do have that it becomes noticeably better those two talents together are already nice pair that with dead eye as your third choice which gives you a five percent per aim level of crit chance um, you will end up with UV dot and uh, the scope that I showed you with four uh, levels of aim. So it's a 20% increased uh, chance to crit, which kind of gets you to a 30% uh, crit chance right off the bat. Uh, and it substantially increases with, uh, with a stealth benefit on top of it. So now you will notice at that point that you are going to quite regularly hit 
Um, and once your marksmanship is high enough, you can also transition more into uh, hitting headshots instead of body uh, shots um, to kill the enemies. Now, moving on to then uh, the uh, perks for the next two levels. Number one uh, would be assassination for increased chance of stealth skills with three plus aim levels. That's good because it allows you to hit the body and still be very successful, typically bypassing armor. And then um, afterwards you take sharpshooter, gain two possible aims with your first attack each turn. Uh, that is a bit of a quick prism scope uh, included, but the more important part is the 30% damage with your first attack each turn. A sniping attack from, uh, from hidden status uh, or a sneak sniper attack counts as the first attack uh, in combat, so you're going to deal even more upfront damage. The moment that you do have those five talents together, I will promise you that uh, even in the end game, most of the enemies will die uh, outright. And if you are clever enough, uh, that will not, uh, or if you, if the situation warrants and you're clever enough, it will not uh, trigger combat to begin with. So you will be able to pick off a lot of stragglers just by using those five talents. And that's really the core of the build. Everything else now is a bonus. So what would I do after that? I would then uh, skill into flanker uh, to get that 15% extra damage against flanked enemies, which typically you will um, uh, see with uh, characters that, uh, that are unaware of you. That will further increase your ability to kill them. And those uh, six talents together are almost uh, making uh, making it impossible for the enemy to survive. Now you could go deeper into the agility uh, tree at that point, but I uh, tend to not do that. There are advantages of uh, that, but really the rest that I would do uh, that I would suggest uh, to take are pure survivability uh, talents because I tend to play with lethality mode on. If you find yourself more on the safe scumming and uh, non-lethal side, that's totally fine. Uh, but in, in that case, ignore what I'm saying and just go further into agility. Uh, but I don't like pure glass cannon builds. They tend to not perform very well. So what I would do then is go for beefed up to get extra hit points. Go for Vanguard to get extra grit. Uh, this here stacks twice with itself, so you can get up to 30 grit, which is the uh, cap for grit, just for staying in, in the open, which means uh, the sniper all of a sudden will become ultra resilient. And then the last skill that I would suggest is Lightning Reflexes. Ignore the skill down uh, there. That is me playing the first time and not knowing all of the skills so well. So uh, I would go for lightning reactions, uh, which essentially gives you a get out of jail card once per encounter. And that in itself is great. So once you do have all of that together, you should find yourself to be an absolute killing machine. So let's take a look on how that uh, looks in gameplay terms. So let's look at some gameplay. We are entering a dust storm in the middle of the night, the worst potential option for a sniper. But fear not, this build uh, can deal with these situations. So we're looking for those little single out characters here and there. Once you zoom in, uh, you basically just pop their hat. A, uh, a duo of uh, further characters approaches us. And you wouldn't need to like move everyone in the same direction. You could uh, easily just use one sniper if you so desire. Uh, for the ease of um, using it, I just tended to um, uh, to keep all of them together. And life war oftentimes was just opening uh, the fights. Again here, you can see as long as it is not completely barricaded. You can sneak up. LifeWire was never the one being caught out. Once you go completely zoomed in, the dust storm and the darkness do no longer count. And you can see the other uh, gentleman here is surprised, so they cannot immediately go for an alert, uh, which allows us to further zoom in, kill him, and immediately get out of combat. Fast forwarding a bit. We're noticing another guard uh, standing by idly. Of course, that's the perfect option for a stealth sniper to zoom in yet again, 
once you zoom in there is not much in the way no grazing shot no armor uh, will help and a crit of 100 will uh, make them count at that point i got uh, a bit bored um, of uh, the ease of taking down every single one and then decided to engage them a bit more properly here i tried to uh, uh, do it uh, with just charging in with uh, the knife but unfortunately that turned out to be not a good idea i leave uh, that in in order to showcase just how strong sniper uh, stealth snipers are you can in many cases just reduce the amount of uh, damage that you're taking uh, massively by taking out stragglers before the actual game starts it is one of the strongest builds and uh, potentially one of uh, those that you can solo the game uh, with so that's really it i hope you enjoyed this uh, the stealth sniper let me know what you think in the comments down below and take care